Hello and welcome to Little Drops of Wonderful. This is my place on YouTube to talk about all things crochet, knitting and crafty. Uh, my name is Ali and I am in Kent in the very southeast of England and this is a special video to talk about all things mini schemes because this is the time of year when a lot of us have got yarn advents. Uh, maybe we've bought some or been given one as a gift or done a swap with a friend. I've done all three of those things over the years and I wanted to share some of the things that I've made in the past with my advent minis and talk about what I'm planning to do this year and also share a whole load of project, uh, a whole load of patterns that I've been discovering. Uh, I've been particularly trying to focus on finding good crochet patterns because there are so many beautiful knitted ones but there are, it's slightly harder to find crochet ones but I've got a mix of about 10 crochet patterns to share and eight knitting ones and there's lots more besides I've been sharing them all on my Instagram where I am starry eyes alley I've got a highlight little dot thing if you go into my profile there's a highlight called uh, advent ideas although I might change that to mini skein ideas but if you go in there I've been sharing all manner of projects crochet knitting everything uh, that you can make with mini skeins whether that's over advent or any time of year really so let's get stuck in I also I should say that there's going to be a giveaway in this video as well a very special uh, crochet advent project giveaway so I will get to that shortly but first I wanted to share things I've made in the past with my advents so the first time I ever had an advent calendar, a yarn advent calendar, I did a swap with my friend Lily. And we did that advent swap with yarn for I think about four years. Uh, and for the first two years, or was it three? Yeah, over three years of swapping with her from 2017 to 2019, I used all of my minis from Lily and I'd also done a 12 day advent swap with my friend Sarah and I used those as well. And they were all five gram, uh, fingering weight minis and I made this and still when I pick it up I get these wonderful warm Christmassy cozy feelings it's a triangle the pattern I used is actually for a much chunkier weight yarn it is the granny wrap by Anna Boo's house and from memory I think it's a free pattern and it's written for I think DK or Aran weight but I did it with my fingering weight minis I just started and kept going and whenever I ran out of one for that day, I just joined in the next one. So, stand on the sofa here so I can show you. It's absolutely massive. I just made it over, I, I made it for the first Christmas in 2017, then I popped it away. And then in 2018, I took it out and added to it. And in 2019, I finally decided that it was big enough and isn't it absolutely glorious and because I worked on it for over th well for three years at Christmas it has so many memories tied in with it this is such a special project for me and the best thing about it is it's blanket size but because it's a triangle I mean this is me in the winter watching whatever I'm watching whatever dodgy Christmas film I'm watching on the TV wrapped up in my gorgeous triangular blanket it is absolutely wonderful and what I like about crochet projects is I'm a much faster crocheter than I am a knitter so I can easily add a five or ten gram mini in every day without getting behind or without getting too behind and it's just such a satisfying project which you don't have to engage your brain with and for me in the lead up to Christmas I don't need to engage my brain in anything. I don't want to engage my brain in anything. There's so much going on that I want my crafting time to just be pure relaxation. So that was my first ever advent project. And then from 2020 to 21, uh, again, with my minis from a swap with Lily and my friend Sarah and a few others that I had given to me as gifts as well, or, or that I bought, I made another granny based project and this one uh, was based on the Attic 24 free pattern for the granny stripe blanket and I took all of my minis and I bought a few skeins of Cascade Heritage in a steel grey and I held it double and I basically marled all of my minis uh, with the Cascade Heritage uh, grey 
And this is what I ended up with. I have to stand on the sofa again, winter. So I ended up with a really weighty, lovely mild effect blanket. And I made this over two years from 2020 and 2021. And it made a really good size blanket for the sofa. In fact, this has never been put away. It stayed out all year. That's the other thing about, a good thing about a crochet project, especially if it's like a blankety one, is you can just pull the yarn through and use it for the year until you're ready to start working on it again because you don't have any live stitches to worry about unravelling. So that was my second advent project and I would highly recommend this. It's such a lovely heavy result uh, with holding the yarn double. Really drapey and floppy and it just makes you feel really nice and secure with it on your lap on a winter's evening. And I will put all of the patterns that I talk about, including these two, as links in the description box underneath and there will also be chapter links as well to the different sections so if you're looking for any information about what I talk about have a look in the description box underneath you just click the little down arrow which is on one of these corners I can never remember which one it would be I think it's this one I think it's this corner so I've also made a couple of other projects with my minis and the first one I don't have with me because I can't find it it's really annoying. I know I haven't lost it. I know I've put it somewhere safe and I cannot for the life of me find it. Unless one of the girls has stolen it and it's in their room, that's very likely too. But it's the, but I'll put a picture up of me wearing it. It's the Full of Minis hat uh, by Barbara at Knitting I Love. And this was such a wonderful project. It uses, so I, I did a swap with my friend Cherie of the Ollie and Bella podcast for this. And we swapped five gram minis and I used, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was five gram minis, and I used each mini for one stripe, uh, which was just about perfect. And if I ran out slightly, I uh, just joined in th the next mini and so on. And it created this wonderful, bulky, uh, textured stripe, uh, the pattern. It, once you get into it, it's so simple to do. And because of the way it's structured, it's incredibly warm as well. The only thing I haven't done yet or at the point of the picture is put on a pom-pom. But I did later on put on a pom-pom. Oh, what was that? I think someone's just posted something through the door. It's not the posties, it's probably just a leaflet. Oh, I can see a lady opposite. So we go and see what the leaflet's about. Merry Christmas from St Michael's Church down the road, telling us about all the dates of their Christmassy things, including their family carol service and their midnight mass. That's what the leaflet was about. How Christmassy when we're talking about all things Advent. <laughs> uh, so I also made a really lovely project, another crochet project. So this is three crochet projects and one knit that I've made with my Advent minis from memory. I might have made more. I lose track. And this is the Nalia wrap. Oh, doesn't it look lovely? The Nalia wrap, not only does it look lovely, by the way, but it's got tassels. Uh, yes, the Nalia wrap, I'll get to the point, by uh, Shara, Shara Maid. Am I right? Yeah, by Shara Maid. And a very uh, simple repeat, really good to get into. You just need a contrast yarn to go between each of your minis. I mean, technically you don't. You don't need to separate your minis with a contrast I've just used an undyed yarn here this is all fingering weight um, but you can see how effective it is to separate the colors like that and it really lets each of the minis do their thing and show off a bit really lovely way to show off your advent minis and obviously anything that is finished off with tassels it's got to be all right hasn't it so let's put it on it's really lovely and long this I made this with what did I make this with? I think I made this with minis from Little French Meadow. From a, uh, I was doing a yarn club with them when they were still dying, and I would get minis every month. And I think I saved them up and made them with, uh, made this with them. I just keep holding it up because I forgot how lovely this is. So I made this with twenty-four or maybe twenty-three uh, minis. I think they were ten gram minis. And it's really long, so you can wrap it round a couple of times. I mean, you can just wear it as a long scarf. But if you wanted to, you could wrap it round 
really easily a couple of times. I haven't done that very well. But you could, and I've still got lots of length here, even wrapping that around a couple of times. So it's a really cosy, yeah, really good project, that one. And I'll link it underneath. So those are all the advent or minis projects that I think I've made in the past. I've probably made other things like socks and so on like that, but those were the major things that I thought would work really well with kind of advent yarns. So now I thought I'd mention what advents I've got this year. So I have been very lucky in that I have bought, so I bought myself uh, the advent from Green Lampkin Yarn, lovely Suzanne at Green Lampkin Yarn. And what she does is she releases three of the minis and you can choose between 10 gram and 20 gram i went for 10 gram and you buy it every month so by october or november you have all 24 uh, and you kind of spread the cost over the course of the year and it just makes it feel like a little bit more affordable or slightly less scary than the amount of money it costs all in one go for an advent although i might treat myself next year to a full-on one in one go but i don't know i don't know if i'm brave enough uh, so I've got all of my minis in here. I'm not going to be giving you a spoiler or anything. They arrive in these little candy stripe bags and they're all numbered and I've popped them all in my very festive looking or wintry looking bag by Betsy Makes. Sam at Betsy Makes. That's curling a bit, sorry. <laughs> there we are. Uh, I love this bag. I think this was the first project bag I ever bought and I love it. Uh, so this is where all my minis are living from my advent calendar so I'll just keep that by the sofa or on the side in the kitchen and every day from the 1st of December I will open up one of these and there's other little things in there as well sometimes there might be tea or chocolate or something like that I'm so excited for this and the theme of this calendar from Suzanne is merry music so it's all going to be themed along the lines of Christmassy music which I think is such a good idea so that's my first one I've also made myself up a little advent calendar from last year. So Suzanne did the same thing last year, but I didn't cotton on. And the theme last year was possibly my, my most favorite thing at Christmas, my favorite book. It's A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And she did a themed advent calendar last year. I didn't cotton, cotton on until the last sort of, I think two months. So I ended up buying the last two months. And then as a gift, she sent me some of the leftovers that she had from the ones uh, from, from the advents that she had been selling. So in total here, I have got 15 uh, of the ad advents from Green Lampkin Yarn from last year, the Christmas Carol themed one. I've re-wrapped the ones that I'd opened last year because I can't remember them. So I very quickly grabbed them and quickly shoved them all in the bags and wrapped them up. I even put some chocolates in for myself so that I've got those six all ready to go because I don't remember what they were. And I've got 15 in there so this needs a project and I'm this is living in my absolutely gorgeous snowman bag I think this is my most favorite bag for Christmas it's got a little sparkly bauble on it and a little gingerbread house pin and I love Raymond Briggs's illustrations snowman included I love his style of drawing pencil lines you see in the things that he does. I loved Fungus the Bogeyman. I love this bag. So I will be very happy to have this sitting out on the side in the kitchen or next to the sofa so I can pull out a, a little parcel randomly over Advent. So I've only got 15, so I'll probably spread them out a bit. So I'd love to work this into a project in the run up to Christmas this year, but I'm gonna have to see what I have time for. So some of the things which I'll talk about shortly will be worked on between Christmas and New Year and beyond. I've also got a yarn advent coming. If it arrives before this video um, is fully edited, I will put a little film in of what that looks like. It is the Bridgerton advent from Bumblebee Acres uh, Yarn and they have very kindly sent me that advent as a gift. It's on its way. In fact, I should probably check the, check the tracking at some point today because it might even arrive today. So hopefully if that does arrive, I can give you a little sneak peek of what that looks like. Obviously no spoilers. Um, and I'll be opening that every day of December as well. So I'm really excited to share that. And by the way, I will be doing Vlogmas. Uh, so that's a video every day of Advent uh, in the lead up to Christmas over on my vlogging channel, which is this little wonderful life. And that's linked in the description box underneath if you're interested to follow along and see all the little yarny parcels being opened 
uh, and see how they what they get turned into. Okay, let's get into sharing some lovely pattern ideas and let's start off first of all with the giveaway. So I, I had lots of fun this morning colour coding my notes. So <laughs> I wrote down all of the projects I wanted to share in this video. Like I say, there are, there are loads more that I've shared on my Instagram highlights. Uh, but I wanted to see what the sort of makeup was of crochet versus knit. So all the pink ones you see, that's all the crochet ones. So I've got 10 crochet patterns and eight knit ones. Some are free, some are paid for. Uh, but the first one I wanted to share is the one that I've got a copy to give away. It is the brand new Baubles and Berries wrap by the queen of crochet, Sandra Paul of the Cherry Heart podcast. She has designed this uh, crochet pattern uh, for 24 times 20 gram fingering weight minis. Um, it's five pounds uh, but it's currently £3.50 until the 9th of January and the really lovely thing about this project is there is no finishing to do at the end other than weaving in ends if you haven't done that as you go because the beautiful pretty edging that's on this is created as you go which is just such a brilliant idea. Uh, so each section you can add your mini and once you've put your mini in that's it you're done and when you get to the end of the project you just pull your yarn through, weave in, weave in your end, and you have a finished thing, which I think is such a genius idea. I don't know how she's come up with it, but it's beautiful. So it's the Baubles, Bauble and Berries wrap. I have a copy to give away. So you're gonna want this pattern as soon as possible. So it's gonna be a really quick giveaway. So I will be releasing this video on Sunday, the 27th of November. So if you leave a comment underneath, Make sure um, you include the word, I need a keyword for searching for the, uh, for you know, when I do the random generator thing. Just make sure you include the word, I'm putting it on the screen, exactly as written, bauble. Make sure you include the word bauble when you comment. If you don't want to win it, don't include the word bauble. <laughs> and then I am going to draw a winner for that on... It'll have to be really, really quick, and then I'll announce it in a YouTube short and in a YouTube community post, so you should see that, on the 1st of December. So that's going to give you just a few days, and I will make sure I share about this video and the giveaway all across Instagram, so everyone knows to come if they want a chance to win it, and then I will announce the winner here on YouTube on the 1st of December. I will draw it then, and then whoever's won it can get it on that day, and if they want to use it for their advent, they can start straight away, because obviously it's a digital copy, it can be sent to you that day. So that would be, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. So not, not a huge turnaround time, but, you know, adds to the excitement a bit. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sandra. Sandra's given me a copy as well. So I'm not, uh, my advents, I think, are all 10 grams. So I don't think I can make it this year. Uh, but that said, I don't know what my Bumblebee Acres one is. It might be 20 grams. I don't know. But I do have some other yarns in mind for the Bauble and Berries uh, wrap. So that might be a 2023 project. You're just watching me go through my thought process out loud. <laughs> I need a cup of tea. I will have a cup of tea after I film this video. So that is the first uh, project. And now I'm going to share with you all of the other ones. So I'm going to start with all of the crochet projects. So the first one that I thought would be a really good one for Advent minis or minis at any time of year, because minis aren't just for Christmas or the holiday season, minis are all year round. <laughs> uh, it's a free pattern. It's crochet. It's by Sandra, again, at Cherry Heart, and it is the Battenberg blanket. It's absolutely gorgeous, perfect for scraps and minis, because you can just make your little granny squares and get those done, and then you just need the contrast colour, that whether that be white or grey or cream or black or whatever you want, and you can have an absolutely glorious, colourful blanket uh, with a real mix of colours, or if you wanted, you could do it really coordinating and just use like a few colours for your uh, colour squares, as opposed to your plain squares, you know what I mean. So I thought that was a really lovely idea. Then another crochet project that I have in my sites, that I have in my library 
and is a strong contender for this year actually, is Intermission by Diane Ramsey, who is added A Designs. It's another crochet project for fingering weight yarn. The price is $6, or that's around £5.30. It's designed for mini skeins. Uh, for the small version, you need six 20 gram uh, mini skeins, plus your contrast uh, skein of yarn. And for the large version, version you need 10 uh, 20 gram mini skeins plus your contrast yarn so that's a really lovely project and uh, Deanne's projects are lovely I've made quite a few of her patterns in the past and they are so well written so professional um, I really enjoy making her things and then I've got three projects I've only counted these as one though so I've actually got 12 crochet projects to share and these are the Just Feel Festive, the Just Feel Cozy and the Just Feel Better shawls. They're all by Kalisha Ryan of the Quirky Monday podcast. Uh, they are designed, so the Just Feel Festive shawl is designed for 24, 20 gram fingering weight um, minis held double but any yarn weight works. Her designs are so, they're, so, they're designed to be really, really relaxing. You don't need to it's just something you can sit and you can just enjoy the process of crochet. Kalisha is such a advocate for the joy of crochet and the, the patterns really reflect that. I've actually made two of her Just Feel Better shawls in the past, but I didn't do them with mini skeins. And I thought I'd just show you to give you an idea of how they could look with something different. So I made this one in fingering weight yarn and this is actually a gradient. Um, it was from... Oh, what was it called? Cozy Clark, Cozy House? I'll put it on the screen. It's on my Ravelry. And it was uh, acrylic um, yarn fade, uh, acrylic yarn cake that fades like this, which I thought was really clever. This is probably one of my most worn uh, items of crochet clothing um, because it's so soft. Uh, being acrylic, there is, no, there is no sort of reaction to it. And I think I just really love the colour. I just really love that deep red with the black. I just, I just find that I, w I grab this again and again and again. I really, really love this shawl. It's such a good size once you've got it on. So this all keeps you warm here under your coat. And then this is what pokes out the top. And I just, I love it. I love this shawl. So this is the Just Feel Better one. It was free when I did it, but now she is charging for it really low amount, something like a pound. But I'm glad she's charging for it because I think this pattern has brought a lot of joy to a lot of people and uh, I'm glad that she that she's making a bit of money out of it. I might go back and buy it again <laughs> as a gift so that I can pay for it. Um, so that's the Just Feel Better. And then I did it again because I had some leftover DK yarn. I think this was DK yarn. I can't even remember what yarn it was. I was doing um, a little demo of my Heath mitts and I had some yarn left and I made this. So I didn't have quite as much, so it's not quite as big. So what I did, so I'll put it on like I, I put the other one on. So it, it doesn't have quite as much length. So it does tend to slip a bit. So at the suggestion of my lovely viewers on my podcast, I put a little button on. So that means I can just put it through any of the granny gaps. Like that, and then hide it under there. And it keeps it all neat and tidy and it doesn't slip as much. I mean, it still slips, but it does keep it a bit neater and tidier. So I love this one as well. You can see how lovely the shape of it is because when you put it on like that, it really sits beautifully. So that's the Just Feel Better shawl, but she also has, like I say, the Just Feel Festive and the Just Feel Cozy. I'm trapped in my scarf now. I've got to get out of it. I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> okay, so next up in the crochet mini skeins list is the juniper cow by tony lipsy otherwise known as tl yarn crafts it is a really simple fingering weight cow the price is seven dollars fifty that's around six pounds sixty and it's for 10 25 gram minis but looking at it i reckon you could use anything that you've got it's a really simple granny stitch cow i think you could possibly use any sort of minis that you've got to make that uh, also, the Giddy Quinn Cow by Sophie at A Spring Snowflake. Uh, this is designed for 12 10 gram minis, which makes it really good for those of us that have got 10 gram advents. It's a crochet pattern, it's five pounds, it's available on Payhip, and I will put the link underneath. It was originally designed to uh, be made with 
the pastel rainbow mini set i'm trying not to crinkle this too much because it's really crinkly packaging uh, it's the pastel rainbow mini set uh, by giddy arms and i've got two of these beautiful pastel rainbow sort of fades and these were a gift uh, from a lovely friend Hilary and she actually gave me the pattern the Giddy Quinn pattern as well so I am really tempted to do that because I think that is so beautiful that pattern with the minis it's so simple I can imagine it's a really relaxing make but it would also work well with any of your minis uh, the Advent Wrap by Sharon at Dragon Hill Studio uh, it's a crochet pattern it's £3.50 and it's designed again for 10 gram minis 24 10 gram minis in fingering weight uh, Sharon is a really big, like Tony at TL Yarncrafts, Sharon is also uh, really big on Tunisian crochet, but this is actually just normal crochet. Um, so that is a really lovely one. And I actually saw that in person at the Southern Wall Show, so I can vouch for the fact it's a beautiful project. <laughs> uh, the Eternal Dawn Advent Scarf and Cow by Janet Pippin. It's designed for 12 DK minis. It's worked as a tube. Um, and it's $5.99 or around £5.30. And then the, this one I bought, the Sugar Stripe Scarf uh, by Roxanne Wazoo, who is Eat Wonder Crochet. Uh, it's seven Canadian dollars, which is around £4.60. Uh, it's a crochet pattern. You use one main skein and she says eight minis, but I guess you could use as many minis as you felt like. It would just mean you had a longer uh, scarf. I thought this looked really interesting because you kind of alternate your mini skeins and then you'd have a section which is in your contrast skein and I thought that looked interesting. It would mean I'd have to sort of open a few to sort of get the lie of the land with the colours to see how they might work together but I think that could really be a fun thing to work on. So that is a strong contender for my advent this year. So make sure you tune into Vlogmas and see what I go for. And finally, also by Tony Lipsy at TL Yarncrafts, I couldn't not include a Tunisian crochet one because I think that's a really lovely, unusual option. It's the Adventurous Scarf. Uh, it's a Tunisian project. It's $7.50 or £6.60 and it's designed for fingering weight minis. I love this one. I'm not very adept at Tunisian crochet. I can do it, but... I'm very tempted by this one. I think that it just looks lovely. I can imagine it will really show off the mini schemes beautifully. Um, so that concludes my crochet ideas. I will now tell you my knitting ideas that I've been picking up. And obviously there are so many hundreds and hundreds of ideas for these type of projects. I've got a little tip for you if you're searching Ravelry. So I didn't realise this until I was doing it this week. But when you're in, when you're in patterns, and you're, you go into advanced search, down the left hand side, use the filter to search pattern notes. So there's a little thing that says filter and then you can select pattern notes and then you can search by um, words included. So I narrowed it down to accessories and crochet and then I went to the filter, selected pattern notes and typed in advent and ordered, by, uh, ordered it by publication date. And I also did that by including 10 gram minis or mini skeins or yarn advent and see what it came up with. And that was a really good way of kind of narrowing it down when I was trying to find crochet projects. But it's also a really good way of trying to find mini projects or knit, crochet or whatever. I hope I've explained that properly. I might write that as a little bullet point thing in the description just to cover myself, make sure that I've described that properly. Anyway, knitting ideas. And like I say, again, there are more, loads more of these shared on my Instagram stories. So the Flora Days by Laura de Bratz. It's a knitted project. It's for both DK and fingering weight yarns. You can choose between either. It's $6 or around £5.50. And it's for 24 minis or any number of minis. And I thought that was a beautiful one. Brand new for this year is the Pot Pickers Cow by Becky Dixon for Bird Street Yarn. It's designed for the Bird Street Yarn Advent Calendar 2022. If you've bought the Bird Street Yarn Advent Calendar, you will already have this pattern for free. Otherwise, it's £6 and it's designed for 24 fingering weight minis plus one contrast scheme. 
you can't but you can't see it properly yet because obviously they don't want to share any spoilers for the advent so they're only sharing it in black and white at the moment so it'll be really good to see how everyone's projects turn out on when everyone's sharing it on instagram this christmas uh amber o'brien i can't mention mini scheme projects without mentioning amber o'brien she has so many projects for mini schemes they're all knit uh i pulled out a few that i really liked uh the fizzilicious wrap is for 24 20 gram dk minis uh the adventuresome wrap is for minis plus a contrast scheme and amber runs an advent cow every year with new patterns but also referring back to previous year's patterns and the hashtag is amber's festive cow 2022 if you want to go and check out all the ideas there and just get lost in that particular rabbit hole it's a lot of fun to look at um, Helen Stewart, of course, of Curious Handmade, she does knit vent, I'm not sure how many years she's done it for, but it's pretty well known now that she always does knit vent and she releases several patterns each year. Uh, they're all knitted. There's an ebook of six patterns. The ebook is £18 and it includes the Anthology Throw, which is the first knit vent uh, pattern for 2022. Uh, the uh, the Oddman's Cow, which is for six 20 gram minis, or 12, 10 gram minis, or 24, 5 gram minis. And lots of patterns as well that would be great in her Ravelry store. The Simply Scrappy Cow, I thought, looked really good. It's £5, but at the moment, it's free on Ravelry with a code for a limited time. So if you go and search the Scrappy Cow, Simply Scrappy Cow by Helen Stewart, the code is in the description. So I thought that was really good. Uh, two by So Sweet Violet, the little rabbit socks, which are £4.75, uh, with a little detail on each of the colour change rows. So each time you change your colour mini, there's a little detail between the two colours, which I think is really sweet, and it comes with pom-poms. Anything with pom-poms is always good. And also she's got the Tiddly Pom Neck Snuggler, and also the Snuggle Down Cow, actually. And the Tiddly Pom Neck Smug Snuggler is £4.75. Again, it's a knit project for four ply minis, and it's 24 uh, minis with floof held double. And uh, you use six grams per plain band and eight grams for the bands that include the pom poms. This is a lovely project. I also wrote down the Candy Mountain Cow by Julianne Knitter, who is Twin Stitches. This is seven dollars or around four pounds sixty. Uh, it includes instructions for both DK and fingering weight yarn, and you need minis plus a contrast scheme. Am I racing through this really quickly? Calm down. It's just really it's so fun thinking about all these projects. Calming down. Slowing down. Okay. I also saw the Advent socks by Remembrance Remembrances Pottery. It's a slightly different option. It's a colour work sock uh, pattern. It's $5 at the moment. It's usually $7 and it's on her website, which I will link underneath. But I thought they were gorgeous as a slightly different uh, way of using minis. And finally, I've got another pattern that was designed for the Crinkly Crinkly Giddy Yarns Rainbow Fade set. Rainbow, what is it? Pastel Rainbow Minis. And that is Helen at Giddy Yarns Design, the Storm's End Cow. It's a knitted project. It's £4 and it takes 12 10 gram minis. And you could use it with any of your minis, really, couldn't you? And that concludes all of my ideas. Except it doesn't, because I've got lots more. But you'll have to go and look at Instagram for that. And I feel like I've said that way too many times now. Uh, so my plans for this advent would be, I think, the Sugar Stripe scarf that I mentioned that I bought. Maybe the Just Feel Festive shawl by Kalisha. But I'm going to see where I go. And some of the projects that I'm going to make with my advents this year, I'll probably make after the, you know, the, the crazy rush up to Christmas. I'll probably do it between Christmas and New Year or into January, which is just one of my favourite months of the year when you just get to have that downtime and just enjoy a bit of quiet after Christmas. Um, so please share your own ideas for projects in the comments so everyone can go and read the comments and get more ideas. Uh, anything you're making and what you're making it with, what weight, uh, whether or not you have a yarn advent, or maybe you've made one for yourself, or you've done a swap, or you've bought one. Uh, and yeah make sure you share so we can all chat about it and I will maybe I'll set up a, a Ravelry group in case anyone wants to chat about it 
just as a little place to go if anyone fancies it. I'm not great at chatting on Ravelry, but so many of you are brilliant at sharing ideas on there. So I'll start a little Ravelry group just in case it's useful as a place to gather to discuss ideas. And I will link all the projects there that I've talked about um, in this video, as well as in the description box. So I will see you for Vlogmas, which starts on the 1st of December, which is next week, which is unbelievable. I can't believe it's come around so quickly. I am in no way ready for Christmas. It's Phoebe's birthday this week. I'm, no, I'm in no way ready for that either. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm so disorganized this year, but you'll follow along with the chaos if you're gonna be watching Vlogmas over on this little wonderful life. And you'll also see me opening all of my lovely yarn advents lovely twinkly festive music and wintry things and hopefully lots of Christmassy fun. Uh, so I will see you there and otherwise I will see you in the next podcast which will be before Christmas. <laughs> see you soon.